Hello, this is my concert mate MG1. I'm going to be removing the um, RCA jacks in the back of the synthesizer and replacing them with uh, quarter inch mono jacks. Uh, similar to the type of jack you would see on a guitar, electric guitar, or something like that. Um, and I will be replacing the both the output and the uh, input so I can do um, uh, audio in and uh, modulate the sound with a synthesizer. What I did is I used a, a um, metal drill bit and a 18 volt drill and I drilled out the rivets um, for the um, RCA jack uh, board and now I'm going to open up the synthesizer and desolder that board. Uh, just in case you didn't know, in order to get the top uh, of the synthesizer off of the PCB board, which is the main circuit board, uh, you need to have all the switches in their mechanical center position. So the switch is like the wave shape, which uh, you just have to sort of center it there delicately and it'll stay. Here's the RCA ports, um, and now I'm going to desolder these yellow, green, and white, and this uh... ah bastard. So this is garbage. Okay, so here I've wired the green and white wire to what I think is the sleeve and then I'm going to take the yellow wire and I'm going to wire in a resistor um, and um, according to something I read online you can use any 27k resistor um, you shouldn't go below 10k because I could damage the equipment. Um, I'm actually doing I think a 47 or something around there resistor because uh, I don't want to I don't want to get any distortion um, when I'm going to be using this thing for live gigs. Okay, so I've soldered in a 27K resistor. Um, what I've done is I've gone... Oops. You weren't supposed to hear that, but basically it's working. Um, um, you shouldn't open your synth while it's plugged in and turned on, but that's what I'm doing. So I have my ground goes from this guy, and then it goes over to this guy, and it connects, and then the uh, 27K resistor connect to the yellow, then the yellow connects, uh, you know, to the to the other board. So <clears throat> it works. I initially started out with a 47k resistor, but it was too much uh, resistance. It was too quiet. So, okay, I think that's it. Uh, one last thing to recommend is this. Uh, there's essentially a little um, piece of sheet metal that I put in there to cover up the old. Okay, so this is our finished product. Um, in the back I have uh, my new output jack and my new input jack, which are now quarter inch. And also we have our little piece of sheet metal for protection. Uh, right now I have a foot switch plugged in and my main output that I've just installed in the back is going to a firewire device which is running to Pro Tools and or sorry not Pro Tools, Logic Pro 
uh, and I have some slight reverb and just uh, a general um, compression or and equalizing thing going on, but nothing nothing major. So this uh, this Moog or this uh, MG1 has I've dropped the tuning um, two octaves I think, and additionally I have uh, done some other subtle modifications. So.